just when I thought we got it cracked, fired up, everything working, and had what's known as a catastrophic failure. The crucible burnt through, and it all went in the bottom. So I've had to struggle for an hour to get it out. Anyway, I need a thicker one. I might have got it to it, I don't know. Anyway, struggle, struggle, struggle. Um, come on, get me a, a bottle. A, a little CO2 bottle. Just that to quit that alley. So I have got a fire, I thought, in desperation. I've got a fire extinguisher, so I'll make another one. And there's hardly anything in it, CO2 one. So I, I emptied that. That's Ali. So I've cut the bottom off this and turned it upside down and hope I can get one firing out of it. That's all. Because I do really just need to get an ingot cast so I can start work on the base and the, the weather's against us. So that's what we're doing. But yeah, I like that word, don't you? Catastrophic failure. It's when something breaks suddenly breaks and is impossible to reverse. So in other words, if you took a brick at a window and the glass breaks, it has a catastrophic failure. So there we are. Anyway, we'll have a go and see. And I've got the knack of firing the furnace a lot quicker. Leave this out for a while and do it. Anyway, I'm, I won't get it I might, it might be my fault because I was a long while doing it and if you oh, too close as usual sorry look if you can see there look it's actually melted the can so I probably got it I'll keep me eye on the temperature this time and not get it quite so hot in the bottom because I think that was probably the problem I don't know but a thicker one would have worked anyway we'll see so I'll let you know I'm going to keep it short and I'll let you know the result if there is one later but I must say, this setup does work well now. I just have to keep my eye on it a bit more. I'm using those smoking nuggets, we're getting plenty of heat. And the cement look has stood up to it tremendously well. I did do a good mix of two to one, but, uh, and it's safe to use here, which is the main thing. You know, and it's quite easy to use. Right, we'll pop this in. There's obviously be a bit of alleys up in the bottom, but not as hard as this nook. This chunk I got out, I probably should have tipped it on its side, shouldn't I? Look at that. I just had to struggle for an hour and a half to get that out. I mean, marvellous. Anyway, it can go back in if I can cut it up. See if the angle grinder will go through it. Right. I'll probably get back to you if I don't choke in this smoke. When I've something else to show you. Wow. So far, I haven't lost my crucible again yet. Look at all the slag you get off cans. But it's very easy to take out, I found. And I'm hoping, another bag or two, I'm going to have enough. I might have enough now, but before I lose the crucible again, I'm going to put two more in. And uh, another bag or two. And I think it's going to last to keep um, Switching the blower off for a bit just to stop it getting too hot because I think last time I didn't get it a fraction too hot. But it's eating these all right. That plastic smoke wouldn't be any good, I don't think, but you know, I might last. We'll see. But it does, as expected, as soon as I uh, I'm only videoing this because I know one or two is interested. I know many people won't be, but I do know one or two are. So, uh, that's why I'm doing this little bit of video again. See, it's not... That crucible should stand it because it's not hot enough to melt those immediately. You know, I think I was... A little bit unlucky to be honest. Anyway, as long as it stands this one firing and I can get enough just to make the base, I've then got something to work with. 
Now I don't know if we've got enough or not, but uh, we've still got some in the bottom and it's reaching the point it's getting steady so in the cans so it seems we I don't want to push it too much so we'll just see I should be able to make something of it even if it's not quite deep enough for a base but we'll see oh and by the way I've put it there because that is I put a spirit level on it and that was the flattest place I've got so we'll see so before it all disappears in the fire again we'll have it tipped out and see I hope you can see what I'm doing. I made that to do it. Yeah, we're not enough. But what I'll do, actually, it doesn't matter because it's filled that up there if you can see this look we're all right in fact you know I might have enough for a base yeah because I did it plenty big enough for what I was doing I don't know how long I want but uh, there might just be enough we'll try and see anyway at least we haven't lost the bottom out of the crucible have we today so Right, let to tidy up and uh, update its work. I'll just show you it a bit closer, look, while there's still a bit of light. So, if we I'll use the end of this just to point, right? Right, so if that's cut across there, like that, and there and there you know that might just be big enough but it will certainly be useful for other pieces even if it isn't big enough for a base I did wonder I knew it would take a lot anyway at least it's been successful hasn't it and just for curiosity look while I had it out here I sanded my bench down so that's good as new with a couple of little patches on isn't it so it hasn't hurt at all you see so there we are right well have a pack up but look you get plenty of heat in there doesn't it eh that's going nicely and those nuggets last quite well right I'll call it off well there's probably well not pr no probably about it it certainly wouldn't be good enough for you know, a uh, professional modeler, let's say, but certainly good enough for me, and it's far better than what I hope to do. So, once inside, it's actually <laughs> bigger than. Oh, I've got a blower here, but anyway, I want to. What's that? That's about 10 inches across there, I think. So, if we cut it off there, like that, probably there, look, we can make that round and do that the same. And that's plenty good enough for that because the bottom doesn't matter. Now, there was a, there's a big air bubble hole there, look. See? But I tell you what, it's come far better than what I thought it would, to be honest. Um, I was expecting it to be all porous and full of slag and, well, just horrible, to be honest. Anyway, I've got something to work on, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that that will be large enough for a base. If not, of course, we've got this one I made, which could be, we could have a base and use that for the supports you know I'm not sure yet but you see for the base we could use that and then join it you know we could get two pieces out this wide enough and we could join them couldn't we anyway as I say it's uh, I'm saying that's successful 
you can tell what you like. I don't care. Now, so we've not got a lot more melting to do, and I'm going to see, as I said, I'm going to see if I can cast a flower wheel. Now, with this wood getting burnt so quickly, I knew it would burn on wood, but I've I won't tell you today, but I've had an idea. So I think the next thing we need to do is get on and try and make the flower wheel mould. And that's about the size which is, I think I told you. Right, it's, uh, well, it's actually five inches across. And I've had a change of plan on this and I've had another idea. So what the idea is, is to make another one out those bits, the same as that, and that, but I'm going to do a solid middle. I was going to do three spokes, I thought, or try to, but uh, because the thing is, it would be miles too light, and if I do a solid middle and then put a ring of bolts around it, steel bolts, um, I can then make a shaft and balance it and do everything, you know. So like I said, we'll have to we'll have to see, we haven't made it yet. Like I said it isn't about that, is it? The whole idea was just to see if I could cast a an aluminium cast a bit of out a few cans, turn a few cans into a bit of aluminium. And I think we can safely say that that's been highly successful. And uh, so I've got a I've only got a small bit more to do. A little bit for that flywheel, I mean it won't, it won't take much at all. So hopefully we can have one or two attempts at that. And uh, although there wasn't enough for, I mean, I, I probably won't, won't use a big base. I mean, not it, but I've got, as I say, I've got plenty. You know, there, there's certainly, that's plenty big enough to make a base on. So we can have a start with that. So that will be a tale for another day like everything else. And that bit, of course, was uh, that bit came very well. You see, on that there's flaws in it. You can see, but uh, like I say, it doesn't matter because all I've got to do underneath is the top is fairly flat, so it's not bad, and the bottom isn't. But what I've got to do is just grind it out so you leave a. I can tell you this bit: leave a small lip. You see like that so grind most of the middle it doesn't have to be very low you know just underneath that and then when you get the top flat you then don't have much to file off so you should be able to get the whole thing very level that's uh, what I'm thinking there but no that's um, like I said any serious model that says oh, I'm not using that it's rubbish you know fair enough right I'm doing it my way. I'm not care. <laughs> Alright, I think that's a long enough video for today. So, in a, in a few days or a day, whenever, because it's supposed to be coming, well, the weather's turning, we're supposed to be getting a cold snap. I don't doubt we'll get much snow, but it's supposed to be a lot colder. That's why I've been wanting to get this done. And so, um, over the weekend, possibly, whenever, we'll have a go at the flywheel mould. And like I say, I've... Uh, I've got an idea that might just make it work. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Lost nothing ever. And I've gained something because I've got a furnace and melts alley. And here's the proof. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Cheers.